Well, it's great to be out here in Penrith with a fantastic local member, David Bradbury. And it's good to be here in uh, the part of Australia that he proudly represents. Um, and uh, it's good to be today right across a whole bunch of uh, seats in Western Sydney. Uh, this is a tough election campaign. We are fighters and we intend to take the message out to the people of Western Sydney as we do right across the country about how we best build the new industries and jobs of the future and contrasting that with the cuts and cuts and more cuts which Mr Abbott stands to deliver if he's elected as Prime Minister. Uh, we spent a week or so focusing in this campaign on how to build the new industries of the future and the new jobs of the future, whether they're in manufacturing, whether they're in the services industries, whether they're in mining services, whether they are in oil and gas, whether they're in medical research, and whether they're going to be generated by the National Broadband Network. Because we believe in jobs, and jobs are going to be created by the new industries of the future. We've also spent a week or so in this campaign focusing on the contrast between what we intend to build and the jobs that we are getting behind for the future and where those $70 billion worth of cuts that Mr Abbott talks about are going to fall. Cuts to jobs, cuts to health, cuts to education. And we therefore believe that this is a very clear contrast between our plan for building the country's future and his plan for cutting and cutting to the bone. We've also today been talking about cost of living pressures and I know they are real here in Western Sydney as well and about what we've done in partnership with the Reserve Bank to keep our interest rates at the lowest they've been in 60 years, to make sure that people on average incomes are paying less tax now than they were five or six years ago, that we're helping families having increased the childcare rebate from 30 to 50 per cent, and also through practical measures like what we're doing with the school kids bonus. And this we contrast on cost of living uh, arrangements uh, with um, the whole debate about paid parental leave. And on paid parental leave, we're out there proud of our scheme, modest and affordable, out there already helping more than 300,000 Australian families. But the contrast is just unbelievable with Mr Abbott's uncosted, unaffordable, unfair and just irresponsible paid parental leave scheme which would pay $75,000 for millionaires to have a baby for six months. So that's what we've been doing, out there arguing our plans uh, for building the jobs and industries of the future and we've spent a solid week or so on that. We spent a solid week or so in contrasting that with Mr Abbott's plans to cut, cut and cut jobs, health as well as education services and bringing that to bear on the big debate about paid parental leave. Our affordable scheme, his unaffordable scheme. Our fair scheme, his unfair scheme. Our economically responsible scheme, his economically irresponsible $22 billion scheme designed, it seems, to help millionaires have a bub. Today, uh, we and the period ahead, we're going to be focusing again on how we build the new jobs and industries of the future. Out here in Western Sydney, people must have jobs. Right across Australia, people must have jobs. If you don't have jobs, there's no household pay packet. If you don't have a household pay packet, it affects everything. And so one of the big generators of jobs are small businesses like this one here. Small businesses are the heart and soul of the Australian economy. And we've got more than three million of them, and they employ about five million Australians. And our job is to make sure that we make their working day as easy as possible so that they can focus on making fantastic bread and not having to deal with a whole bunch of red tape. And so on red tape in the last few days, what we've outlined is our plans to cut red tape when it comes to compliance with superannuation payments using the clearinghouse. We've outlined our plans to cut red tape for small business by allowing small businesses to use another government service to deal with paid parental leave so that they don't have that administrative burden as well. But the third one today, which I'll talk about and ask David briefly to add to, is cutting red tape when it comes to compliance with the goods and services tax. Pretty simply, it's like this. Right now, in small businesses, if you've got a small business generating more than $2 million uh, in its GST turnover, uh, they're required to submit four business activity statements, four BAS statements every year. Now that's a lot of red tape, and we understand that uh, it takes about, the GST compliance represents about half of the time it takes for small business overall compliance with business tax regulation. 
So we want to cut that further. At present, as I said, it's four BAS statements a year uh, if you've got a business generating more than $2 million worth of turnover. What we're going to do is multiply that by 10. So if you've got a business with a turnover for GST purposes of $20 million, as of uh, the re-election of our government, if the people return us, we are going to make sure that those small businesses only have to submit one BAS statement a year, not four, if that's what they want to do. That reduces enormously the overall burden of uh, business compliance on the part of the small businesses of Australia. And the beneficiaries of this nationwide will be 1.35 million Australian small businesses. It's all about taking some of the burden of small business. I conclude just by saying this. We're in the business of making it easier for small business to get out there and prosper, whereas Mr Abbott is imposing on small businesses and independent retirees and families the tax burden to pay for his unaffordable, unfair and irresponsible paid parental leave scheme. Do you want to add something on the tax yeah, changes? Thanks. thanks, mate. Well, thanks very much. It's great to have the Prime Minister here in Penrith and great to be here with Kabin Joshi, who runs this local bakery here at Westfield Penrith. And as the Prime Minister said, we're announcing today an important measure that will cut red tape for small business, small and medium businesses. Mr Abbott has uh, he's really had a few of these three word slogans out in this campaign. Cutting red tape has been one of them. But I've got three letters for Mr Abbott and that is GST. Because never before had small and medium businesses been strangled with red tape quite like they were when the Liberal government introduced the GST. Well today we're taking out the scissors and we're going to cut some of that red tape. For the 1.35 million small and medium businesses across this country, we're saying to them that you will only have to put in one BAS return per year. And what that means is that it will ensure that all of the headaches, all of the heartache, all of the paperwork that small and medium business are being buried in will be taken away on that quarterly basis. They'll be able to put quarterly instalments in without having to do all of the reporting but at the end of the year they'll reconcile that with an annual statement. And that is something that will cut red tape and allow small businesses like this one here in Penrith to get on with the job of doing what they do best, and that is to employ millions of Australians. It's great to have the Prime Minister here with us.